evening, and uh, thank you for being here. My name is David Middleman, and I'll be introducing Mick Graywall so that he can introduce the family to you. It was a little over a year ago that we had our first press conference, and we had a couple, a uh, handful of local folks that uh, wanted to hear what we were starting to uncover. And since then, uh, we found a lot and you all have been a large part of it without investigational uh, reporting from the media and news there's no way we could do it ourselves taking on an institution like this with unlimited resources takes a lot of work but it also takes uh, a, a multiple uh, attack and uh, we really appreciate you, you being here like Larissa said we hope you don't leave until the job is done. Uh, the statements are finished now in the third and final sentencing, concluded with Larissa Boyce and Rachel De Hollander. The judge will listen to the prosecutor or AG briefly, make some statements, the defense lawyers, and then if the defendant wants to make a statement, uh, he'll be able to, and uh, then she'll sentence and I expect it to go rather quickly. So thank you for being here, Mick Raywall. Uh, everybody can come on up here because this is a family, a strong family unit. I'd like to thank everybody for coming. I mean, it was a very emotional today at court. And you're all here for an action that Mr. Margraves did in court today. I am respectfully asking all the media, please, he is here today with his family and his daughters to give a statement. But after today, if you want any statements from him, please just contact me or my office. Do not camp out in his front lawn. Respect their privacy. They also need to heal from today. They have not had a chance to absorb what has occurred. Secondly, Apparently there is a GoFundMe page that's been created. We have no knowledge of this GoFundMe page. My client has not agreed or authorized a GoFundMe page. There's no need for any funds for him. We represent his three daughters. We represent the family. I represent Randy. There's no need for any funds. We thank you for your support. So whoever set this GoFundMe page up, please take it down. Use that for legitimate purposes. Don't use it for a purpose and continue to prey on a family needlessly. Judge Cunningham graciously accepted Mr. Margrave's apology. There were no fines assessed for civil contempt. I am currently working with Doug Lloyd and Sheriff Reich in the investigation, and I'm confident there's going to be an equitable resolution. I will update you accordingly, but I am not concerned at this time frame. I believe justice was served today by Judge Cunningham and allowing Randy out. Right now, Mr. Margraves wants a chance to thank all of you that have supported him, but he does not believe he is a hero. He's very humble, a loving father and husband. He just wanted to protect his daughters. He is deeply regretful for his actions today. As you're well aware of watching now, I believe eight or nine days of impact statements Emotions run high. Emotions overtook him when he heard facts surrounding his two daughters for the first time. As you're well aware, he has three beautiful, strong, surviving daughters right here. And for any father, that's a lot to overcome. But he wants to make sure it's very clear that he apologizes to Judge Cunningham and her staff, to all the law enforcement officials that were there today, to Doug Lloyd and Sheriff Reich, the defense attorneys Matt Newberg and Molly Blythe to all the survivors as he didn't want to take anything from them for their statements that they were doing today to his wife and daughters and to the entire judicial system no one should do what he did today no one should take justice in their own hands we live in a civilized society and he understands that justice will be served when Judge Cunningham issues her sentence on Monday just like it's been done with Judge Aquilina and Judge Neff. His frustrations are actually towards the system of enablers. Michigan State University, USA Gymnastics, Twistars. 
These girls shouldn't be here. He shouldn't be here. These enablers who still have failed to apologize. No transparency. No accountability. He's frustrated. Rightfully so. No one would make up what any of these survivors have said. You've heard comments yesterday from one of the defense attorneys. We heard that Larry Nasser stands behind his plea. I think that's also inflamed the situation. When Mr. Nasser was shaking his head during these young women's statements, that was disrespectful. He knows what he did. So if we get anything out of today, please be aware that sexual assault and trauma causes the victims and their families, their families, stress, trauma. This is not an individual situation. This is for our society, for all the women and survivors. So Morgan's going to make a comment on behalf of the sisters, and then Randy's going to make a comment. Hi. Good afternoon, everyone. Since the Indy Star article broke last year, we all have been processing it in our own ways. My sisters and I decided to speak up at the sentence hearings because we felt that our voices should be heard and also speaking up for those who couldn't come forward. Clearly, there has been some stress and frustration, and it's not just within our family, it's within the entire community. The amount of love and support that we have experienced is beyond words, and we are very grateful. I don't know many people that would want to talk to their father specifically about such details. It's hard for, it was hard for my dad to hear what each of us experienced explicitly for the first time today. And it's easy to get caught up when emotions are running high. He reacted in a way that I feel most fathers would have done and probably wanted to do in a situation like this. But after reflecting on what happened earlier, my father is, re is remorseful and justice cannot be served by one individual. It must go through the judicial system. We don't want this to be a distraction from the real issues. My sisters and I are proud to stand with all the women that have shared their stories over the past few days, and we owe them a debt of gratitude. My family and I appreciate everyone respecting our privacy during this time. Good evening. Um, I want to make it real clear that I am no hero. My daughters are the heroes and all the victims and the survivors of this a terrible atrocity. Um, I'm going to read from a statement. You can use it, you can not use it, but after I do this statement, that's the last statements I'm making. I wrote this statement. This morning, I got up with full intention to go to work. I was going to stop by the courthouse for support. I knew my daughters were going to make an impact statement. I did not know the content and the impact statement. We went to the podium, Sherry, their mother, and myself, in support of the two daughters. When I had to hear what was said in those statements, and I have to look over at Larry Nasser shaking his head, that's when I lost control. I'm not advocating that everyone should do that. I feel very remorseful, um, very apologetic. I was embarrassed. I thank Judge Cunningham and all the court system for their leniency on me. This is, uh, cannot be a lawless society. I know that. I lost control, but I regained control later in a holding cell. Um, when my children were little, they were taught to respect and obey and trust authority. That means the police and their parents, and their teachers, and their coaches, and their doctors. They were taught to respect and obey and trust adults because adults would teach them the proper way to live their lives. And we see what happened there. When the girls were little, Sherry and myself worked hard to provide extra opportunities for our children. And they found these opportunities on the athletic fields. They all participated in sports camps and traveling teams. And uh, they all played basketball and softball and volleyball, ran track, cross country, and gymnastics. And then the injuries started showing up. Almost immediately, we're getting, this family's getting professional advice 
to see one of the top doctors in his field, Larry Nasser. And I should have felt privileged for paying the invoices because after all, he was taking care of Michigan State University athletes as well as Olympians. I allowed myself to take this uh, advice. I fell for the Michigan State hype. I was blinded to the fancy degrees hanging on an office wall. And I delivered unintentionally my three daughters to a demon who had his own twisted and sick agenda for his own demented desires. Now I have to live with the fact that I failed to protect my daughters. This is a strong family, we will get through it. <clears throat> Sometimes the relationships between my daughters have been strained, stressed, distant. I was always trying to figure that out. I was always frustrated and puzzled. I always tried to work as hard as I could to be a good father. And now I know what one of the reasons were the main reason. It, it, the reason was Larry Nasser. Now I have to worry if my daughters can ever trust another man the rest of their life. The survivors and the victims are the most important now. And my daughters are a part of that. Um, if it wasn't for all the brave girls and women that have come forward before now, I don't know if my family could have came forward now. So I appreciate and thank all the victims and the survivors for what they've done. I do not doubt for a minute all the people who have come forward, there was probably even more victims out there that have yet to come forward. And to them I say I wish you well and I hope you can find the inner strength to go down the path of recovery. Like I said, the victims and survivors are the most important, but I represent the parents and the grandparents and the family members and the friends and the community members and the coaches and the teachers, all who have cared and taught and loved all these kids, not just my kids, all those kids, the right way. I thank all of those for their support. I want to wrap this up. I will tell you that I believe in God Almighty. I believe in heaven and hell. And I can only hope when the day comes that Larry Nasser has ended his days on this earth, that he will be escorted to one of the deepest, darkest, hottest pits in hell there is for him and people like him. I hope there's a lot of pain attached to it because he certainly left a lot of pain here on this earth. That's all I have to say and I want to thank everyone for coming out. Thank you. Now I'll briefly, if you have a few questions, you'll answer a few questions. I talked to Randy. We have no idea who set it up. I'm going to follow up with it to make sure that whoever put money in that GoFundMe account, you should ask for a refund. Are the Margaret sisters part of any lawsuit against MSU or against NASA? They, they are three plaintiffs in the civil suit. In federal court? In federal court, correct. Anything else? You said that you're not a hero, but there are so many people online, the Twitter community, who are pointing to you and saying they would have done the exact same thing. What are your thoughts on, on what they're saying? Well, I can appreciate the thoughts. I certainly do. I'm a little bit embarrassed by what happened. It wasn't pre-planned. I didn't want to upstage my daughters or any other other survivors or victims. Um, it is what it is now. I appreciate uh, the judicial system showing me some uh, leniency. Um, I was embarrassed about the situation I allowed myself to get into, but it is what it is. If you don't mind the question, have your daughters and your wife been dealing with what's happened? Yes. We yeah. haven't had ch time to really well, talk about they, it yet. They have. <laughs> you yeah, just heard it right here. Yeah. Um, uh, Randy, you, you mentioned that you didn't know what your daughters were, were, were going to say. Um, one of your daughters did 
testify at the other hearing. Did you, were you there for that? Did you hear that? No, I was not. And I was, that, today's the first day of any courts I've been in. And I assured uh, Judge Cunningham I will not be at the future, if there is any. It sounds like there may not be any, any future impact statement hearings. Right, but, but I was not with my oldest daughter when she made a statement. But you didn't hear what she had to say? You didn't no. know what your daughters had gone through until you heard it today? We knew some of the details, but we didn't know them in that extent, and I don't know one word of what my oldest daughter has stated yet, and I'm going to find that out tonight when we go home. That's just, it, the question's been asked. And let's just understand, excuse me, his daughter indicated it's very difficult for girls to speak to their father about the intimate details of what occurred. I believe that statement has already been made by Morgan. Let's leave it at that, let the family go home and discuss it amongst themselves. They are healing, just like all the other families out there need to do. They need to heal. As a community, we need to support them. That's our job. I haven't had a lot of time to process uh, some of my, one of my daughters, actually two of them are out of town. We're, we're just getting together today a little bit. Uh, I need a time to process this. Um, certainly there needs to be changes there. Um, the survivors and the victims need to be taken more serious. And, and these accusations that come up need to be addressed immediately. Not take six months or a year or five years to decide if they are false or, or positive. And, no one wants to go up on these podiums and state some of these things, and it's not true. I mean, it's a terrible tragedy, and it's a terrible thing in this country. So certainly there needs to be a lot of change coming in the future. What's your reaction to the fact that some of these allegations have come up for two years? Was it, was it I don't know all the facts about the other cases. Um, as far as answering the other gentleman's question, whether, whether I knew all the details or not, we definitely know something happened. And uh, it just all came, kind of brewed up today. Are so the details of what your daughter shared, or, or was it Nasser's reaction when she saw the court? It was Nasser's reaction, was a lot of it. And uh, when I had to hear it, actually stated from my own daughters, they would. They didn't want to tell me a lot of this stuff. You know, I just knew something happened, but I never knew the details. But to hear it from them for the first time today. I've yet to hear from my oldest daughter. Putting that together with his reaction um, kind of set me off a little bit. I mean, I think there are a lot of people that understand and kind of sympathetic in a way with your response. Why, can you explain to them why you think you were embarrassed by it? <clears throat> that was not a staged reaction. Um, I do not usually handle myself that way. Um, I, my first thought was I probably embarrassed my own family. I didn't get to him to start with, so. And he's very um, apologetic. So. And I, I am very apologetic. And it didn't take long where I regretted that later. I guess a follow up to that question regarding the Ingham County, uh, the statement that was made there. It was said in that statement that when you found out that something was wrong, that you were gonna go and find him. Did that ever play out? We're not answering I, that. Yeah, we're not making a comment. I don't know about that statement. As Randy indicated, he has not spoken to his oldest daughter yet. Let them go home tonight and speak as a family. One more question right here. Uh, you mentioned that you've been in communication with Wright and Lloyd, so you don't expect charges to come from I'm not the prosecutor, I'm not the sheriff. We have cooperated with them. We have given a statement to them. I believe Matt Newberg has given a statement to them. I'm confident that once again, just as Judge Cunningham has issued justice and showed leniency, I believe justice in this unique circumstance in a highly emotionally charged situation, that I believe everything will turn out fine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can we get the ages?